Good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm your host, Lisa Halk, the hippie chick. And today I have my beautiful daughter, Lexi Wellman, with me. She rolls her eyes as I say beautiful daughter, but I'm allowed to do that. I'm her mama. So, <laughs> welcome. Hi. Hi. Are you excited to be here? Yes, first time on the show. New show. New show. New set. New set. Isn't the set cool? Yeah, I got comfy chairs. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find a lava lamp. We need a lava lamp right there. So the one I brought is too tall and won't work. So I've got to. I've got to get a new lava lamp instead of my retro one. So we'll get one and we can do that. Yeah, we'll get one and put it in here. Maybe burn a little incense. Maybe Gary will let us. Yeah. Get a little. A little uh, aromatherapy going in here. Yeah. So <laughs> got a bunch of different smells <laughs> <laughs> all righty then <laughs> so so we uh, started the show talking about um our new challenge for january mm -hmm. on our positive change challenge that we're doing so um 64 ounces of water a day is our goal in this as well as exercise mm -hmm. which you love to exercise so yeah that'll be easy for you, mm -hmm. but you're not as good about getting your water. I don't drink a lot of water. <laughs> no. So I just tried to get her to drink anything because she's just not a big drinker. I like hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I drink I, hot however, chocolate. I, however, ha always have a drink in my hand. This is the cup I carry around with me. And just for future reference in a few minutes, this is 24 ounces of liquid, okay? So that, I carry that around all the time. All the time. All the time. I have it at home. Even all if I'm time. having a glass of wine in the evening, I have my big cup of water beside it. And Even I'm if you're going into town for like 10 oh, minutes, yes. it goes with you. It does. It goes everywhere with me. And it's great because it's one of those, you know, those fancy ones that's really well insulated. And so mm -hmm. I can put ice in the morning and it'll still be there in the evening. It's great. Like even in hot cars. I've seen that thing last hours and it's yeah. just, it'll just... Steaming hot car, there's still ice in it. Yep, it's an awesome cup. So that's what I use to keep track of my water. Um, reasons to drink plenty of water are besides the fact that your body just really needs it to perform properly. Um, staying hydrated makes your kidneys function properly. It helps you digest food better. It is just something that you should really work on. You are 75% water. Uh, yes. You're going to be like 20% water. <laughs> so, And if you will drink a cup of water when you first get up in the morning, there's lots of benefits to that. Drinking that cup of water on your empty stomach. So it helps you to rehydrate because you've probably gone several hours without any liquid of any kind. And so you're dehydrated naturally when you get up in the morning. It also stimulates your bowels which Lori was concerned about, and it removes toxins from your body. It flushes them out. So it's very important to do that. One way I really like to get my water, especially in the winter time, in the mornings, is hot lemon water, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of like hot lemonade. It's just hot water. I squeeze lemon in there and some honey, stir it together and drink that. There is no science science to really back that it has lots of benefits but we know the benefits you get from lemon and from honey and by making it hot it helps your body to move it quicker through and and distribute those things into your system so some of the things that um, people believe it does is it helps to detoxify and kill bacteria because lemon naturally does that um, lemons are very high in vitamin C and citric acid yeah. and both fight off bacteria and offer electrolytes. So they're really good after exercise, but because it, it helps you to get your electrical circuits back into balance, you know, <laughs> that you can get off very easily when you get dehydrated. Mm -hmm. um, it increases your metabolism, which as we get older is something all of us need help with. It's supposed to help clear your skin. Um, it's anti-inflammation and antioxidant. Anti-inflammation is so important in this day and age because there are so many things out there that create inflammation in the body. And as much as you can keep that down, the better you are. And especially your joints. So it's great for throat infections. The first time I ever had it, my grandmother made it for me because I had strep throat. And that's how I found this miraculous stuff. And it's wonderful. It's a diuretic and it also will nourish your hair if you put it on your hair in the shower. Yeah. So now some people just really don't like plain water. Mm -hmm. Or in our case where we live, we have sulfur water. And so a lot of people don't like that. But there are ways you can bump up your water if you have fresh fruit. 
There are lots of fun fruit and herb combinations you can do. You can just make it at night before you go to bed or in the morning when you get up and keep the pitcher and just know once you've drank that pitcher that you've got your water intake for the day. <coughs> Excuse me. So some of those that I really like are lemon and blueberry together. Mm -hmm. It's a great combination in any dessert. Mint and ginger, apple and cinnamon, blackberry and sage is really yummy. Pineapple and mint, um, cranberry, orange, and cardamom. That's really nice this time of year and it's pretty. And if you don't have fruit, but you have juices, you can put them in ice cube trays and freeze them and add them to your water to give you a little boost. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Also tea, <clears throat> excuse me, tea is a wonderful way to get your water intake as long as you're using a natural tea. You can also grow your own plants for tea, which is what I really like to do. And so some ideas for your tea garden would be lavender, chamomile, mm -hmm. thyme, lemon verbena. That's a wonderful perennial. Once you plant it, you will have it forever. And it's so lemony and beautiful. Stevia, which is a natural sweetener, is wonderful if you like your tea sweet. That's all we use at home is stevia. Um, lemongrass, which is also a perennial, roses, and euchanasia. And, you know, everybody knows all the different benefits these things do, like lavender and chamomile are relaxing. So you pick what you want and plant one or two of those in your garden, and then you have a continual supply. You can use them fresh or you can dry them. Yesterday you made some hibiscus tea, didn't you? I did. I love hibiscus tea. That is a very um, Central American thing. They have this beautiful hibiscus plant. It's a perennial in warm climates, but not here. And it's called Roselle, R-O-X-E, R-O-Z-E-L-L-E, -E, Roselle. And um, it, it is a beautiful hibiscus that's lavender and white flower. Once that flower goes away, and if you've ever had a hibiscus, you know they only last one day, you leave that to form the seed. Once the seed forms, you take that whole pod, you cut the seed out, and you dry what's left. And that gives you the most beautiful magenta colored tea mm -hmm. and it is kind of a lemon tart flavor. I always do sweeten it because I'm a sweet tea girl. And so I made my simple syrup mm -hmm. and added that in and oh, it is so good for you. And it's something in um, Hispanic cultures that they drink a lot. Mamas make their kids drink it because they think it's really good for their kidney function. It's good for their uh, metabolism and it is just healthy overall. And it's something they grow in their yards. So you could do that too. So some things to think about. Are you gonna think you can incorporate any of this into your busy college life? Well, I always have like 10 different types of teas just sitting next to my kettle. You are a good tea drinker. I, so, I yeah. have gotten a little bit out of it, but I used to drink like five cups of tea a day. That's a good start. <laughs> and uh, since college started, I haven't been drinking tea as much, but mm -hmm. I do drink it like when I'm studying or doing homework or something or just need to wind down for bed. Do you carry a water bottle with you to class and stuff? Uh, I always that? carry a drink of some sort with me. Usually it's soda, mm -hmm. but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could try to start slipping in a water bottle occasionally. Yeah, I started getting myself those like 32 packs of water bottles. Nice. And so I uh, just get one of those with me like every day and usually I'm pretty good about it because I kind of sip on my drink throughout lectures and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so usually I can do that or if they, my school has these reusable cups you can refill for like a nice. dollar or less. Less? 50 cents maybe. Mm -hmm. But you can get refills, and it's plastic, you wash it, and uh, so sometimes I just like to go to our cafeteria shop and refill that between classes. Do they have healthy options? They have Powerade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it might be better than soda, I'm not sure, but yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, those are something, some things for you to think about. We hope that you will join us in this challenge. I will be glad to... Um, post some of these recipes on our Facebook page for CNA TV, so make sure to go and like that if you have not. Um, also like and subscribe to this video, and then you'll be sure to be notified of all of our posts. And we have a show on every day of the week, so please, please go and subscribe to that and watch all the wonderful entertainment we have for you. And remember, $30 a year gets you membership into this exceptional organization. So until next time, Peace out.